Today I want to show you how you can make your own Asian styled river dragon. A lot of the dragons that we commonly think of actually come out of Europe in the medieval times. They have a larger body. They're the sort you see in the Ninjago sets or in Game of Thrones, but Asian dragons are more like sea serpents. They're longer, more snake-like, kind of a snake-like dragon. And so here you go. And here this is, I tell you right now, this is going to be the easiest Lego instruction build you have ever seen. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready to know how to do this? Let's go. There you have it. Go down to Target and get yourself this mini Lego set from the Shang-Chi movie. It is amazing. I, I love this dragon. It is simple. It's 55 pieces. It's five bucks at Target. Just go down there right now and go buy it. And it's a super easy build. I can show you. You can see it's got really easy parts to it. It's so easy. Look at these instructions. So you can take all of these parts and turn them into an awesome dragon. There you have it. Look at this. Isn't this a great set? It's fully articulated. Each of the joints can move oh, or come off. There we go. Even the mouth goes up and down. But I just love how this captures the Asian style dragon so well. And, and so, one, now one thing you might notice is, so I converted mine in from a full dragon, like in the set, to a river dragon, kind of that sea serpent look. And so there, there are just a couple things to do to convert this into that. Fundamentally, you just need to figure out how to attach the joints onto a base plate instead. So I started with just the head and then just the tail. And then I got some pieces here, as you can see. Instead of the ball joint, I used a clip joint. Okay, and so I started with the ball joint up at the head. I took that off and I moved that one to the back. And instead added a ball joint here. And then one of the other things I also did was reversed all of these just to make the clipping a little easier. Okay, there's that. And then here's the clip. And then add the back to it as well. Okay, so there you can see that's how I did it. And then it can stick onto the edge, okay? Then if you wanna stick into the middle, the secret is you just have to add a little stud in the middle there. So it can stick just like that, okay? So that's what I did with the first one. Now let's talk about the back. So in front of, now the back, I have to take out this double ball joint and I'm gonna replace it with the single ball joint that I borrowed from the front. Okay, so pull that out. Still use that for the tail. And then still use the top pieces. And then add on the other clip joint. Same thing there. And voila, there are the two pieces to be able to add it into a river. Okay, so I hope you found this helpful. Here's another shot of the final product. Enjoy adding dragons to your rivers.